what to keep in mind when speaking and interviewing the alleged perpetrator. Although this is a very sensitive subject, remember that some perpetrators are not guilty of the allegations. But regardless, you need to keep these items in mind when speaking to the alleged perpetrator. Have them describe the circumstances surrounding the complaint. Be serious and to the point. Be neutral and unbiased. Stay on topic. Ask the person to respond to each allegation separately in the event that there are multiple allegations. Tell the alleged harasser that the behavior must stop. Document this meeting as all others. Take appropriate action based on your findings and make sure that you follow up with the person who filed the complaint so they are aware that you have in fact interviewed the alleged perpetrator already. How to speak to and interview witnesses. Hopefully there are witnesses that are able to either validate or invalidate what the accusations are. When you are able to identify witnesses, you should interview them separately and do not initially identify the alleged recipient or the alleged harasser as best you can, although this may be impossible because the witnesses may be well aware as to what has occurred already. Have the witnesses describe the situation and circumstances of the alleged harassment in an open-ended manner. Make sure that you are not guiding them in any way. Have them describe what their observations have been rather than what they have heard. It's got to be what they've seen. Again, ensure you talk to each witness in a private setting. Let's cover some other important items for managers and HR personnel. Do investigate all complaints fully as confidential as possible. Make certain that all employees have received a written non-discrimination and harassment policy and procedure when you're doing this interview as well as prior to doing that interview.